All right, hey, what's up, folks? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be continuing with the theme of the uh, of this playlist, which is polymer chemistry. So in the last video, we looked at radical polymerization, and we said that involves the use of free radicals to produce your polymer. Here, we're going to be looking at cationic polymerization. And as the name suggests, you're going to be using some sort of carbocation intermediate. So in cationic polymer, uh, polymerization, we essentially synthesize polymers from monomers that contain electron-rich double bonds per heteroatoms. Now, whoa, that was loud. Sorry, there's a thunderstorm going on outside. Now, unlike radical polymerization, uh, which involves the formation of free radicals, cationic polymerization relies on the generation of a carbocation intermediate to initiate and propagate the polymer chains. Now remember, um, all polymerization reactions can essentially be classified into uh, initiation, or the steps rather are initiation, propagation, and termination. And cationic polymerization is no different. So uh, this step one, the initiation step, is a Lewis acid will initiate the formation of your carbocationic species. S uh, phase two, or step two, is the propagation step. Now the carbocation will react with monomers to form a new carbocation, and add to the growing polymer chain. This process will continue over and over and over again, as we'll see in the next slide when we look at the mechanism. Uh, and this step uh, will continue until the polymer chain increases uh, in length, and then we'll get to the termination step. Now, the chain termination um, essentially depends on, sorry, the type of chain termination will depend on the reaction conditions. You can have combination termination, disproportionation termination. That, again, entirely depends on uh, the set of reaction conditions that we're operating with. Uh, that being said, let's go ahead and dive into the cationic polymerization mechanism. Now, here we have our cationic species that was formed through using the Lewis acid. What's going to happen is you're going to have your C double bond C or your electron rich double bond here come in and take this cationic species. When that happens, we now form a carbocation intermediate species over here. And what this will do is this will now react with another one of your monomers uh, in solution. So what's going to happen here is you're going to have your, excuse me, your C double bond C come in and attack that carbocation intermediate. And then once again, you form a C plus over here, carbocation intermediate, that will then go ahead and react with another one of your monomers in solution. And then this continues over and over again. And this is essentially the propagation step until you get to chain termination. Again, that's cationic polymerization uh, in a nutshell. Very simple, very straightforward, uh, not difficult. Um, and again, can be broken down, all polymerization reactions can be broken down into initiation, uh, propagation, and chain termination. With that being said, um, we're done with this chapter. If you have any questions, or not this chapter, we're done with this the section of the of the chapter. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them down in the comment section below. And until next time, best of luck.